Hello, sir. I'd love to interview you. You, have, you seem to have some very radical and uh, very far advanced views. Would you, would you share them with us? Absolutely, sir. Well, the thing is, I think what this all comes down to is more power needs to go to the corporations. I think governments need to be able to have less restrictions on being able to act in the best interests of their people and the sovereignty of New Zealand. And my good friend, I mean, your, your, your Prime Minister, John Key, is saying the Transatlantic Partnership Agreement is in the best interests of New Zealand. And I've got no reason to disbelieve him. John Key is an honest and true man. He has always acted in the best interests of New Zealand. And I believe that a closer alignment with the United States of America is the best thing to keep the world safer and also in a free market economy we need to have less restrictions on corporations. I couldn't agree more and the, the good thing about the Prime Minister is he's a criminal banker and, and criminal bankers seem to run economies very very well especially ratcheting up the debt wouldn't you agree? I totally agree and that's the exact reason why we need to have faith in John Key. Now faith in John Key does that mean John Key so, sort of like a religious figure? No, I think he's just doing the best job he can as the Prime Minister of New Zealand and, um, you know, and whilst he hasn't always told the truth, I think um, he's trying to act in our best interests. And in regards to the secrecy of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, well, you know, some New Zealanders would be upset if they knew the real details and we don't want it to happen. So I think it's in the best interest of New Zealand if we just keep it hush-hush and quite secret. Absolutely, and we should definitely not table the WikiLeaks documents in Parliament because that's just unfair. I totally agree, we definitely don't want to do that. What would Edward Snowden know leaking those documents? We can't put faith in leaked documents. We need to believe what our politicians tell us. John Key is saying to us this is a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely, because the Prime Ministers in New Zealand history have never been wrong about any kind of economic policy. That's why we're thriving so much and still have so many of our assets. Exactly. Roger Douglas back in the 1980s is a perfect example of that. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. And, and are there any final statements you'd like to give, perhaps words of encouragement to the corporate banks as they run our lives? USA! 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 And in Mexican, USA! This is Vinny Eastwood, Mr. News.